Good evening, everyone. Um, thanks for being here tonight for our first informational session on Homewood's consideration of the city manager role. Um, as we get started, before the presentation begins, um, feel free to sit around the table, grab a comfy chair. I mean, we're just where if you're if you're good where you're at, stay there. But um, you know, just want to invite you in. Um, to the table if you want to, um, so we can have a discussion, you know, post-presentation. Um, just to let you know a little bit about how the flow of the event's going to go, we're going to have um, Sam Gaston, who's the speaker, uh, our first speaker. He's the city manager of Mountain Brook. He's going to present on the importance and benefits of the city manager role, a little bit of context about the city manager um, position and the history in the state of Alabama. Um, we're then going to turn it over to President Wyatt, who's going to talk some about the specifics of Homewood's consideration. Uh, he's going to talk about the map, um, why we have to consider changing, you know, the ward boundaries and the state act that, that you know, kind of details that process and, and, and why it's that way. And then after that, we're going to have some Q&A. Um, in addition to that, we're going to have some one-on-one -on -one opportunities for people to go to the map and have specific discussion to go over to the other table, look at some documents um, that, that, such as the, the report, the ad hoc committee prepared, or some other um, documents about the benefits of city manager. You can access those through, the key, through scanning the QR code. Um, and, and basically, just opportunities to talk one-on-one -on -one if you don't want to talk in a group setting. So. Uh, myself and fellow counselors will be at those stations to talk to you, answer any questions you may have. That being said, fellow counselors, um, my name's Nick Sims. I'm the city counselor for Ward 3. Um, we also have Counselor Gear here, uh, counselor with Ward 1. We have uh, President Wyatt, who is obviously at large, but also represents uh, Ward 4. Uh, counselor Andrus, uh, Jennifer Andrus, represents Ward 5. And um, we have our mayor, Patrick McCloskey here as well. So we want to recognize them and thank them for being here. Um, so feel free to talk to us and follow up with any questions you may have about this consideration. Um, as a reference, to get us started, Sam Gaston, city manager of Mountain Brook, is going to do a presentation on the city manager role. Sam's been in the city manager role of Mountain Brook for over 30 years now, I believe. Almost 31, okay, and he is, <laughs> in his tenure, he has, um, you know, been the president of the statewide um, city management association. He's also been the president of the uh, national ICMA. Um, so Sam brings a wealth of experience to um, the, the topic, and we're grateful for him for taking this time and being here. Um, I'm also grateful for Sam because I'm a graduate of the UAB's MP MPA program, the Master's in Public Administration program. So uh, a lot of this and my uh, interest in this started from Sam being my professor years ago. <laughs> so Sam, thanks for being here. And with that, I'll turn it over to you to start the presentation. Well, good afternoon. It's always wonderful to be in the great city of Homewood. I'm a member of the Homewood Mount Brook Kiwanis Club. And y'all let me in on Thursday, I'm sorry, most Wednesdays I'm in town, and it's always a lot of fun. We have a great time at the libraries. We do some work with them on their paper shredding uh, project. We also have our annual pancake day every year at the Exceptional Foundation, and then we ride in their Christmas parade sometimes. Uh, matter of fact, about four years ago, we were in the parade, and as our Kiwanis uh, float turned up off Oxford onto Main Street, there was apparently a little girl there with her parents out, obviously from Mount Brook, and she said, it's the mayor! <laughs> screaming, you know, no. anyway, But anyway, I am going to sit down, if you don't mind, uh, and give you a presentation. But uh, I do appreciate the opportunity to uh, speak to uh, you in Homewood and answer, hopefully answer some of your questions about the uh, city management system. Uh, Alabama, uh, unfortunately, is behind in uh, uh, most other states in the southeast, with the exception of our few states to the west of us. Uh, I didn't put South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia, which have hundreds of city managers there, but you see the comparisons that we have in some of our uh, nearby communities or nearby, nearby states. Uh, there was a study uh, question asked, why does Alabama have so few city managers? 
And there was a study done by Dr. Doug Watson, who was a PhD, but also had been city manager of Auburn for 21 years, and he then retired and went to uh, Dallas and be the MPA director at the University of Texas at Dallas, and then came back to Alabama and worked some for Alabama State and Troy. Anyway, he, his study concluded there were three reasons why Alabama does not have so many city managers. One is that we've really ne never had a real champion for professional management in Alabama. Uh, the Alabama League of Municipalities, uh, they don't really promote it, but they don't work against us either. Uh, you know, the County Commission Association of Alabama has promoted the uh, Certified County Administrators Program. And then uh, Auburn University or Alabama. But now we are hoping that the Government and Economic Development Institute of Auburn will be the catalyst or the champion as they do so much training for local governments in different positions throughout, you know, different professional positions. So we're looking to that. Plus, number two, legislation was not great for people to be able to adopt the council manager form of government without some kind of special legislation. We tried for two years and then in 2019 we, we got a bill passed that allowed for cities to have a five or seven member council. We found out we had a mistake in the bill and we had to come back in 2020. And then three, just the social makeup of Alabama, the political, social, cultural, and philosophical makeup. Our state uh, as a whole seems much more like Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas rather than Georgia, Florida, and Tennessee. And as some people say, politics is the second most popular contact sport in Alabama. I guess you can know what number one is. Um, but you know, Homewood, Mount Brook, and Vestavia, we're all very similar cities. We're all very similar cities. And our communities, and by the way, for those of us who live in the over-the-mountain communities, that is Mount Brook, Homewood, Vestavia, Hoover, North Shelby County, we are blessed with a quality of life that is unsurpassed in the rest of the state of Alabama. And so our communities are much more like communities in Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, as opposed to Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi. Um, here in Alabama, we have 16 city managers. There are your 16 city managers. And you notice that five of these are in Jefferson County. So Homewood can be number six. We have 18 city administrators in Alabama, and these are the various cities that have uh, city administrators. And then we have 60 of our 67 counties in Alabama that have a county administrator, and then three counties that actually have a county manager, including Jefferson and Shelby County. Also, in Alabama, at least all of our city school systems have a, an appointed professional school superintendent. Uh, all 71 city school districts, and they re realize the need to have professional rather than political management of our 67 county school districts. 37 still have elected superintendents and 30 have appointed superintendents. But every year, one or two more counties switch over from the elected superintendent, although there are minimum requirements for running for that position, to a, an appointed position. So what does a city manager do? Well, one, we serve as the administrative head of the city government. We supervise the day-to-day -day operations of the city. We supervise the department heads. We uh, appoint and remove empl employees, prepare the annual budget, looking at the city as comprehensive, submitting it to the mayor and council for their approval and changes. We also make recommendations. This is one of the strongest things about having a city manager, a professional city manager, that city manager and his staff or her staff can provide recommendations, professional recommendations and options for the mayor and council to consider. You, know, you, you have those options to be able to consider and make good choices. So that enhances the decision-making process by the council. Once that policy is enacted by the governing body of the council, then it's up to the city manager and their staff to enforce it. Of course, we also enforce all the laws and ordinances of the city, and we attend all meetings of the city council. And then finally, one of the most important things is to keep the mayor and the council informed of things going on in the city government as well as the community. So what are the results of having a city manager for your community? Well, one, about 75% of city managers uh, and county managers have graduate degrees, usually in public administration, some city planning, uh, MBAs, and a few law degrees. Uh, we serve as change agents, and you will see greater professionalism in your workforce, city workforce, under a city manager system versus a mayor council system. 
and employees over time will be better paid and better trained under the council manager form of government. And employees will be hired on their education, their experience, and their merit, and not for any political patronage reasons. You have service decisions that will be carried out on what's best for the entire city and most efficient. And all members, all members of your governing body will have equal say in the operations of your city. The council manager form of government promotes teamwork among council members. Most of the time under a mayor council form of government where you have a lot of conflict between the, can have conflict between the mayor and the council, the council is upset with the mayor because he or she is not implementing some policies they wanted to see done or he, they don't feel like they're getting enough uh, attention from the city or for their district. A lot of times you see that uh, happen and you have friction. The manager has to work for the entire governing body. Also, by having a city manager, <coughs> it allows the policymakers, which is your elected officials, to have a vision for the community, concentrate on policies, and work, on, uh, work with community groups. You also will see a consolidation of departments. I know Homewood has a lot more departments than we do in Mount Brook. We've collapsed a few of ours, so we have basically seven departments. You'll see a higher level of innovation in your city services and operation because the city manager, they're going to be hiring professional people to be your public works director, your police chief, your fire chief, your planning director, your finance director, and on so on. And then you will have a greater emphasis on long range planning, land use planning, capital improvement planning. And Homewood's like us, we've got a lot of capital improvements we're doing. And then also strategic planning. So you will anticipate not only needs of the future, but also opportunities for the future. So you're looking ahead, not just looking to the next year. There will be an emphasis on uh, goal setting, performance measuring, and benchmarking. We benchmark Mountain Brook against about 14, 15 cities in the nation that are similar in size to us and similar in a lot of demographics. We also benchmark ourselves against Homewood and Vestavia. That's the only two cities in Alabama that we benchmark ourselves again. You've seen centralized budgeting and purchasing procedures put together. And also, by the way, we do citizen surveys every three years in Mountain Brook. And so we, we do citizen surveys every three years. And 2,000 households get the survey, and uh, it helps us to see how are we doing as far as public safety, park and recreation, public work, et cetera, communication with our residents. The good news is that we score extremely high on those, but at the same time, we know that we are, we are held to a higher standard sometimes in the over the mountain communities. You'll see a commitment to public service and good government, especially if you hire a city manager that is, this is their profession, this is what they've been trained to do, this is what their, their heart and their, their desire is to be. Then you will see less politics and less drama in your administration of your city. And the average tenure of a city manager is between seven and eight years. Like, you know, although a lot of our school superintendents here in the Over the Mountain areas have been enjoying long tenures, we all know statewide that, what is it, three years or less now? And so the city managers are lasting a little bit longer than the uh, school superintendents. So what three options do you have in Alabama if you want professional local government management? The first one is the Council Manager Form of Government Act, which Homewood is considering, which Best Davy operates under. Then the second one is the city manager position by ordinance, which Mount Brook and uh, several other cities, including Pelham, uh, operate under. And then uh, you can appoint a city administrator, which really works directly under the mayor, does not really, it's acting more like a city coordinator. The mayor still the hires and fires the employees, helps, still prepares the budget, although I'm sure that the city administrator does most of the legwork. But uh, the city administrator position really answers to the mayor and not to uh, the council. And Alabaster and Hoover have city administrators. So why do cities and counties want to have professional management? Well, one is sometimes you will have poor administration by elected officials. You may have inefficient, ineffective government services, which occurred in Talladega and Tuskegee when they went to the council manager form of government. You may have a declining quality of life or economic vitality for your community. There can be corruption uh, or unethical behavior by elected officials or employees, such as in Anniston many years ago in Phoenix City. There can be a lack of leadership and a vision for your community. But most communities like Homewood and Mountain Brook and Vestavia, we prefer to have professional management rather than political management of our community. Because if you think about it, your local government 
has more impact on your quality of life than the state or federal government. If your local government is not providing good, efficient services, then it's going to affect your quality of life greatly. And then, desire to take your community to the next level to reach its full potential. You know, you elect a mayor or county commission person based on their charisma, their ideas, their vision, not necessarily because they're a good manager. And, and also, if the elected official is a poor administrator, then there's quite a lot you can do till the next election. Why, if you hire a city manager, if that city manager is not responsive to the needs of the citizens and the council, and it's not a good fit for your community, then the governing body can make a, uh, a immediate change. Most city managers uh, do not have long-term contracts. They may have four, six, eight months, maybe a year of uh, severance pay, but they do not, like most school superintendents, when they sign a three or four year contract, if they get fired in year number one, they're paid for the next three years. So that doesn't happen usually under uh, your, your uh, uh, city management <coughs> contracts. You know, in my 31 years in Mount Brook, I have enjoyed working with all of your mayors, and, and especially Mayor Patrick, who I think is a, a, a strong leader and a true servant leader. But for a city your size, 28, 29,000, over a $50 million budget, 350 to 400 employees, you need more than just a part-time mayor and 11 council members. You need a professional running your operations on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it will greatly improve your efficiency. So, why would Homewood, why would Homewood be a good fit for the council manager form of government? Well, this form of government works very well in cities like Homewood, Alabama, Mount Brook, Vestavia, because this is a higher income, a more affluent community. You have a well-educated populace here. You've got great schools. You want to continue to improve the quality of life because we're in competition with Mount Brook. Mount Brook is in competition with Vestavia, Homewood, Hoover for various amenities, et cetera. And so you're going to meet the quality of life. And then you've got to meet the cha challenges of future growth. You're going to have a lot of infield development like we're having in Mount Brook. What's going to happen is you're basically landlocked. Is that correct? Yeah. And, uh, so you, we're not quite landlocked, but we have very little options to go any further. So we're seeing a lot of, of infield development, redevelopment. And then you want to ensure that your municipal services, your basic municipal services that contribute to your quality of life are professionally managed rather than uh, politically managed. And then you want to reach your full potential as a community, mm -hmm. as, a, as a local government, by having full-time professional management. You know, there's been research done by ICMA, that is the International City County Management Association, and ASPA, the Association, Alabama, and that's the Association of Public, American Association of Public Administration, IBM, which we all know, University of North Carolina, and many other universities, that the council manager form of government ranks higher than the mayor and council form of government on professionalism, ethics, transparency, efficient services, reducing politics, promoting teamwork and cooperation among the governing body, the employees, and different groups, and innovation. I think most of us here have seen the great improvement that has been in the Jefferson County government system in the last 14 years since they went to a county manager. If you've got colleagues or friends that live in Mount Brook, Vestavia, Shelby County, I would encourage you to go talk with them. 